everyone. My name is Claire. Today, we're not having, we're not having any, any thing. I mean, we were not summaries by my book, but today we read books. This book name is The Story of Chocolate. Chocolate. I really like to eat chocolate. Well, now let's read it, then we will summarize it. The story of chocolate. The picture is kind of small, so if you don't like to look at the picture, so you just need it to, um, just need it to hear it. Okay, it will have six chapters. So, so we will add it, it into two, two videos. The first video is this video. It was in, in three chapters. A, a chocolate recipe. Oh, uh, we're not reading it. And the second, second video it will have chapter four chapter five and six okay let's read it chocolate drinkers a thousand years ago chocolate was a big secret only few people drank and drank it and nobody ate it yes and that was just in the long thousand times ago. The first chocolate drinkers were farmers who lived by the famed rainforest in Central America. The rainforest was a jungle full of tropical plants, wild animals, and creepy crawlers. Crawly. It was also home to many the small coca tree that grew strange bright pots. Mm. I think I really when I show to you pictures, it's kind of hard. So could I tell? Could I tell out when you you would hear that? It kind of it kind of because. My left, my left hand is kind of tired, so could I read like this? Please, if you say okay, if you say okay, I give you a heart. If you say no, I never give you a heart. Monkeys knew all about the pops. They like to break them open and suck out the sweet white pulp. When they, then they spat out the bit of beans that were in the middle. That means it, the coca pods are grown from the coca tree. Then the monkeys, they take, they take the pods, they break them open, then drink the white pulp in it. But the bit of bean they don't like. You know, bit you don't like bitter, right? Me too. If a bean landed on the early patch earthy patch of forest floor, it grew into another coca tree. That means when the monkey spit out the beans the beans landed on the ground. Then summer days, the new coca tree grows up and they have lots and lots of coca trees. One day, a farmer compete the monkeys to taste the pod. Yum, he cried, sucking the pulp. Yuck, he added, spitting out the bean. Soon, everyone was sucking poop, pulp, and spitting beans. 
cool. But then some villagers noticed a delicious smell drifting up from the pile of rotting bees. Cool. Although for the next few months, the farmers discovered a way to capture the smell by turning the bee beans into a drink. Uh, when it was time now, it eased me to have, to have a drink made from chocolate. Buy your chocolate and melt it down. But in thousands of years, do you remember? Do you remember the sentence? We just drink, but nobody ate it. Ate it. We just we just drinking the chocolate, but they do will not eat it. I think I think the I think when it was the solid bars but now I think when long time ago when I hasn't born up some inventors has invented lots of kind some inventors has invented lots of kind of chocolate. Not like adding sugar, mixing it with marshmallow or different things up, and even use it to ice cream too. Like using the chocolate, then wrap the chocolate um, outside the ice cream. It was delicious because I like it. I like chocolate too. It's kind of, it was a kind of, it is a kind of snack I like. First, I think the chocolate was made from coffee. That's why when I taste a choc some chocolate my dad gave for me, it tastes quite bitter, though. The, mm, over the next new few months, the farmers discover a way to capture the smell by turning beans into a drink. They let the beans rot for a few days under banana leaves, then put them to the dry to dry in the hot sun. Then they roasted the bees over the, a fire, ground them into a paste, and stirred with the water and spices. They called their new drink, Choco Bar. Choco Bar. <laughs> like a chocolate Choco and a bar from a sheep. <laughs> Funny. It tastes very bitter, but they like it. Bitter? Uh, no thanks. I'm not. I not drink of a bitter thing. I like to drink the sweet, sweet, delicious chocolate. I love the sweet chocolate taste. Not. Not the bitter taste. To avoid hiking into jungle for pods, the, the, the farmers planted cocoa trees in their own fields. Remember, I need plenty of shade. That the man in the picture. The farmers were members of a huge group group of people called Mayans. Before long, chocolate bar or chocolate was an important part of Mayan life. Is that for meals? Even if emperor was like to drink it. Ooh, cool. Mayans came, no, it was a king, not emperor. Mayan king Kings and friars began to drink it every day. They liked the fourth best. Ooh, cool! Was 
did it. And Mayan's weddings where the bride and groom show their love for each other by exchanging five coca beans. Oh, and don't they kissing? In fact, people were so en enchanted by coca tree. They painted it on everything, their pots, their mugs, and even their walls. Wow. Everything. Even, even on their houses? House of wolves, right? So, the book said, even their walls. So, the Mayan people live in their houses, and their houses they decorated with, with paints. I wonder how could how could they get some paints? Ooh, is this picture I saw? I saw they drawing a coca tree with coca pods on. But preparing coca beans, this was hard work. It took weeks. <sighs> Most people were only special, only allowed to drink chocolate as a special treat. Ooh. Coca beans became so valuable, they were used at money. You could buy rabbit for 10 beans and a slave for 100. Wow! It's only a small one. I gave you 8 beans. There was a man in the picture too. Ooh, some rabbits. Rabbits for 10. But he said these rabbits are small, so he just gave him 8 beans. Okay, the next chapter, and then we will ju just have one more chapter, then we will done, done the first video, okay? Learning the Secret Hundreds of years later, a group of merchants arrived in Mayan, Mayan village. They had journeyed for days to find exotic goods for the emperor. The fair merchants belong to their fierce group of people called Aztecs. To avoid trouble, the Mayans offer them some of their precious beans. What are these for? Make it drink fits for the gods. Prove it. That was three men in this picture. When the Aztecs has learned the chocolate secret, they serve a cup full to, to their emperor, and he was delighted. It's bigger, right? Perfect. He cried, a cool, refreshing drink that does make you drunk. And he ordered, ordered, ordered all his warriors to drink chocolate before they went into battle. Mm, where, where the Aztecs live, live it was too cold to grow coca. So they had to buy the beans from the Mayans and carry them all the way home. Ooh. I saw this this king was drink lots and lots of of chocolate. Look at all the stacks of cups. Wow, so many cups. That that mean this this emperor has has drink 
many, many cups of chocolate. The Aztec Emperor Montezuma was crazy about chocolate. He kept royal warehouse houses piled high with coca beans. Sometimes he ordered 50 cups of chocolate a day, thinking they would make him richer and whisper. can drink fifteen five and zero cups of chocolate a day. Oh my gosh. I never seen a man can drink so much chocolate like this. Never. Mm. But poor people could only dream about chocolate. Oh, how poor are they? You are the bad emperor. When I am him, I will share to every people. Well, even they said I need to drink all of it, but I said no. I just drink some of it. I do not very like the bitter, bitter taste. Of it. Over time, a legend grew up about where chocolate first came from. Once upon a time, the world had no chocolate. Chocolate, says the storytellers. Then, Quetzalcoatl, the god of farming, appeared from Padres with a coca tree. Uh, I don't know if this storytellers is said the true story of fake story. Well, Quetzalcoatl was it was the Aztecs here. They built him grand temples and left him chocolate drinks as gifts. Wow. But other countries have their eyes on Aztec's riches. Chocolate wouldn't stay a Central American secret for long. Adding sugar. It is the last chapter. So this chapter had this chapter must be meaning is they were adding some sugar in. In, in 1519, a Spanish explorer named Hernan Cortes set out with an army to fight, fight the Aztecs. After many battles, Emperor Montezuma wanted to make peace and he invited Cortes to the court. court. He gave Cortes his first taste of chocolate. A delicious, but rather bitter. It is Cor Cortes in the story. Yeah. Very beautiful. Thanks. Cortes liked the chocolate, but he still conquered the Aztecs and in 1528 when Cortes sailed home for sat with resting with Aztecs treasure including coke beans. I think it was gold like pirates. I think but what if a treasure is coca beans? I think they grew, take it home, take the coca beans home, then make it into chocolate to drink. But I think they added sugar because the chapter name is adding sugar. Back in Spain, 
Cortez served the chocolate drink to his friends. They decided it tastes better hot and with lots of sugar. It was so good they kept it to themselves. Oh, but the Spanish prize, Philip, soon heard about the drink. A group of monks took some visitors from Central America to meet him, and they brought a tub of chocolate paste as a gift. Just add water and drink it. It smells divine. Ooh. Prince Philip was hooked. He made sweet hot chocolate a drink of Spanish court. Oh, cool. Chocolate gossip spread fast. People in Europe were talking about it long before they had even seen a potato. <laughs> but turning coca bean into chocolate paste took a long time and it was very expensive. Oh, only rich Europeans has enough money to buy the drink. We will sit around in cafes, sipping hot chocolate and talking about the weather. Oh, that's it. And those, and those other, other chapters we will read next time. Okay, and now let's quickly, quickly summaries. I said quickly summaries because I'm getting tired. So, the story of chocolate, and this was just, just the the first video. So it name. So this video name would be first video. Or number one with S T on it. Besides it, but it's smaller and bigger. No, smaller, smaller and higher. Mm. Let me see the chapter. Chocolate drinkers. Once. Many years, thousands of years ago, there were chocolate drinkers. Chocolate drinkers. Chocolate drinkers. We just drink it and nobody ate it. Mm, the and the chocolate, the coca beans always grew always grow on in the chocolate forest but that is just a long time ago okay and the tropical forest it were creepy crawlers and some monkeys the monkey always pick pick the pod out of a tree out of a tree and break it open and suck up the delicious, sweet, white pulp. Then they spitting out the bitter bean. One day, one day, a farmer, a farmer compete with the monkey, the monkey, and he tries he tried one pod. Mmm, yummy, he said. Yuck, he added, spitting out the beans. Then, then, mm, then they started to make some of the delicious chocolate. First, first, 
first rotate the beans, then they put it under the leaves, so it it will keep the the good smell. The good smell. Then, then weeks later, they put it under the sun to dry. Then they will paste it. It then mix it with some other materials. Then we pour it into our mugs and drink. It was very bitter, but we like it. One, uh, forgot it again, just a little bit. Mm. Ah, Vermillion's king, Vermillion's king, like really like the really like the chocolate now the chocolate wasn't not very a secret anymore and then more years later the chocolate became important to mayans then one day uh, what did I so, 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 so? Mm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. They. They could buy the coca beans, beans by things. One slave could be 100 beans, and one bunny could be 10. Years, years later, the Aztecs come and they want too bad to have a bottle. But be before the battle, the king of the Mayans gave, gave the Aztecs to drink some chocolate. Then, then they go for a fight. More more years later, mm, just a little bit. I think I am forgot a bit, but this will be fast. Fast. Mm. Then the Spanish come and and fight with the Mayans. After many battles, the king of the Mayans wanted to have some peace, and he gave and he gave gave the Spanish to drink some chocolate. He said. It's delicious, but rather bitter. Then they take take the, some of it home. They, I mean, they buy the coca home to grow lots of coca trees. Then they go home and they're making chocolate and adding lots of sugar. It was really sweet. Sweet, well. Um, why did I always forget everything? Hmm. Then <laughs> more, then, more years later, 
the people started to drink, drinking it, drinking it at the cafe, at the cafe, and just they just drinking it and talking about the weather. The end. This story is kind of hard, so please give a like and subscribe for me. If you have a comment, don't make me very sad, or I will stop making videos. Okay, bye bye. Okay, up and back up. Hi, ta, ha ha.